Hello, everyone. Good afternoon. Good evening, wherever you are. Welcome everyone to our online mindful community. This is the Maryland Meditation Center. And at the moment, we are an online based community, the space where everyone can stop by and practice meditation together. And my name is Venerable Narong Shai Tana Shayo. I'm going to be your host for tonight's meditation and uh, share some wisdom talk with everyone here. How was your week of last week? Uh, things still going well? Okay. Whatever happening in the world, make sure you guys never stop practice meditation because meditation is very important to our life. Uh, in the eyes of Buddhist monk, uh, if someone asks, you know, the monk, what is the purpose of life? Some monk may answer, we are born to meditate. <laughs> and uh, to me, this answer is very deep. In order for us to get to know who we are, get to know ourselves, and meditation is a promising tool to help us to get there, to get to know who we really are, what is the our inner self. Okay, uh, we're talking about something is very refined, this is the uh, human mind. And that is something uh, we should keep in mind that we should meditate. But for the moment, you know, we may meditate just to help us to be relaxed, calm the mind down, reduce stress. And that's the, the, the first benefit of meditation. Help us to get there, help us to be more focused and help us to find inner peace inside ourselves. But uh, later on, as you meditate longer and deeper, you may realize that, hey, meditation has more benefit than that, than just being calm and being relaxed. For Buddhist monks, we don't meditate just for relaxation or you know, reduce stress. Okay? We, we're looking for something deeper than that. And that's uh, whatever reason that bring you back to the question, bring you back to meditation session, uh, it's always good reason. Okay, so start from somewhere, start from there, uh, be happy and enjoy the session. Uh, you are at the right place and at the right time and the time that you deserve in the afternoon like this, in the evening like this on Saturday, it's the time for inner peace, the time to get back to ourselves and let go everything. So before you can uh, move on with your day. I think it's important to get back and nurture yourself, nurture your mind, uh, recharge and rejuvenate. Uh, please allow me to share with you some information, okay, to, to recap what we have learned, to prepare ourselves before we sit 30 minutes. So today is the 18 weeks of our uh, online communities. Uh, we're looking at one year of 2022. That means we have 35 weeks, you know, waiting for us down the road. So please feel free to stop by and meditate together. Meditation is a journey. It's something we should practice every day. And if you cannot, at least once a week, please stop by, uh, sit together okay, with me and with our friend in this community. So we can help each other to grow this community, the community of mindful people. So if you know someone who may be benefit for this, feel free to you know, invite them to join us as well. Those of you who join us for the first time, we have a YouTube channel. You can go back and relearn what we have talked about in the past 17 weeks. And there are also some meditation guide, guided meditation recorded and uploaded to YouTube as well. So you can meditate on your own pace. You can learn on your own pace. Uh, if you can make time on the Saturday and in, in a Sunday evening, again, you can join the live uh, lecture and the live uh, meditation like this. Okay. So today I'd like to share with you another tip and technique of how to meditate better. We will touch on the concept of visualization and the mantra. Some of you may have been meditating for quite some time, some of you are new, it's okay. Uh, this is the space for you. Whatever technique that you already feel comfortable, please continue okay, to develop that by adding on the new information that we learn from each other here to help make your meditation better. But the basic principle of meditation, we need to fully understand. Okay, So whatever technique you use, it's okay. But again, it's open up your heart, open up your mind, input the new thing, and put into practice and adjust here and there. Eventually, it will help you to be uh, a good meditator. So start from here, meditation. Okay. Uh, it's about mind, right? But human being, we have body and mind. In order for us to be success in meditation practice, uh, we need to take good care of the body as well. So 50% on the body, 50% on the mind. Have, has to go together hand in hand. If you had headaches, imagine just a little headache, then that session you cannot meditate well. Right, because the body is not allow you to be comfortable, and when the body is not comfortable, it's hard for the mind to stay still. So you need to make sure that you know take good care well of the body, 
exercise, eat good food. Okay, we're looking at this. This is a long. It's it's a journey. It's not just one time meditation. And we go exercise to make sure the body is healthy. Same thing, you know. We bring the mind back to the body, so we bring the mind to the gym to exercise the mind on the regular basis, so the mind can be strong as well. And uh, exercise of the mind is meditation practice and the mindfulness practice. One of the hindrances in medita in meditation is about thought. Okay, human mind is always thinking, wondering. It's a wondering object. It thinks a lot and it thinks all the time. So one you know, major problem that most meditators are facing every time when they meditate is about thinking. And the, it's uncontrollable. It's always think, think, think. And if this happened to you, again, please keep in mind this is very normal okay, phenomenon. It's, it's happened all the time. It happened to all of us whether you are new you, or you are advanced meditator. But, you know, Thought is not the enemy. Don't look at thought as something you need to get rid of them uh, because we can, okay? No matter what, the mind still think. So instead of looking looking at thought as the enemy, so we can learn how to be friend with our own thought. Let it come and let it pass. Let it come and let it pass. No, no problem. It is impossible to try to force the mind to stop thinking. It doesn't work that way. You think of you when you push uh, the football, try to push or press is underneath the water. So you will get the same um, energy to force you back. It's like that. So even though you may be able to control it, but the mind cannot be relaxed because you are forcing. So instead of doing that, we need to understand the nature of the mind, how to play with it, and eventually the mind can be still. Now, one of my teachers uh, gave a very uh, simple example. Um, she said the, the mind is like chicken. If you want to catch the chicken or the hen, you cannot just rush, uh, run directly to the chicken and try to catch it with the coop or with whatever thing that you want to catch the chicken. The chicken will fly away. So instead of you doing that, you know, no rush, just sit back and play with the chicken. Just, you know, feed the chicken with the, the grain of rice or the grain of corn or something that the chicken can, can eat, right? So eventually chicken will kind of come closer and closer to you and just keep on eating okay, uh, on that grain of rice that you feed. And when it gets closer, then you can catch the chicken with the coop or with whatever you prepare. Then, you know, chicken can be still, something like this. So you need to find a technique to calm the mind down and can keep the mind stay, uh, stay in, inside, inside the body when you meditate. Just like this example, the mind is like the horse. It doesn't like to stay still, it's the wild horse. It like to run and it's run very far. If you want to catch the horse, this is your own mind. So make sure you find the pole and the string to, to tie the horse to the pole. The, the pole is like your meditation object. Okay, can be your breath, can be the object of your choice, can be anything. Can be walking meditation, can be loving kindness meditation. Okay, today we will talk about that. And uh, the, the ropes that tie the horse to the pole is like the, we call sati or mindfulness. Okay, mindfulness means you, you tie the mind. You know when your mind attention moves. You know when the horse starts moving. So when you know, you bring it back to the pole. Okay, when you know that your mind starts moving, you bring it back to your meditation object. You bring it back to your breath. You bring it back to your feet when you practice walking meditation. So whatever technique you use, and that's how it works. It doesn't matter how many times the horse starts running away from the pole. Doesn't matter how many times your mind thinks. Your job is to understand it, don't get agitated about it, and slowly welcome it back. And the good news is, even though the mind is a, is a thinking element, the mind can be trained to be still. Okay? The mind can be trained to be still, and the trained mind bring happiness to our life. Because a lot of things that come into our mind, we're not mindful enough. So it, we are overwhelming with thought and we get stressed, we get headache and we don't know how to deal with that. So many people have to take the sleeping pill, otherwise they cannot go to sleep. And that's very sad. So if they know how to, how the mind work and know how to practice meditation, you know, maybe they don't need any sleeping pill. Just practice meditation, share loving kindness and just go back to bed, you know, uh, happily. Okay, so I'll, I'll introduce you to technique today. Uh, one is called the mantra, and another one is called the meditation object or visualization technique. So these two things 
uh, is another tool that available for meditator to utilize. Okay, you don't have to use it, but you should know that this this thing available for you. You may need it from time to time. To me, I found it very useful because no matter how hard we try, the my human mind still you know keep on wandering. And that's for sure, more or less. So yesterday maybe less thought, but today you don't know. You may have a lot of thoughts because yesterday and today is not the same. You may have to make a lot of decision today, talk to a lot of people today, a lot of things come to your mind today, and then it's time for meditation. You go to meditate, and then all of a sudden, so many thinking. Okay, you do the same technique, but today so many thought. <laughs> so you have to to kind of uh, so think about it. Okay, and prepare yourself. Okay, so the mantra. What is the mantra? The mantra is the the wording that you use when you meditate. You whisper silently, okay, softly, in uh, in your mind when you meditate. Okay, uh, can be any word, any phrase that you understand, that you feel comfortable, just to keep the mind busy. Just like you feed the chicken with the grain of rice, but now you feed your mind with the with the mantra, something that you say repeatedly over and over when you meditate. Okay, but it has to be relaxed. Okay, it has to be soft. Uh, not not try to intentionally say something like, okay, clear and bright, clear and bright, calm and peace, calm and peace. No, that's not the technique. Okay, but the idea is uh, silently repeat it, the mantra to keep the mind busy with the word instead of letting the mind keep on thinking one thought after another. So, for example, uh, you can say, uh, you can meditate on the word clear and bright, clear and bright, clear and bright or calm and peace or peace and calm make sure you you feel easy and comfortable sometimes it can be just one word like calming 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 anything so myself sometimes i use the pali term which is you know most of the Buddhist buddhist monk we we chant in pali sometimes i say you know buddho Buddha, which is reconnect my mind to the Buddha, or Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang, Samma Arahang. So it can be any word. You may not understand what it means. Find some mantra that you feel easy, understand, and comfortable. Can be anything. Okay, this is just an example. Can be one word, can be two words, but it shouldn't be too long. Okay, shouldn't be too long. When you try, you know which one you feel good and comfortable. So stay with that one. So you try it softly. Okay, reciting softly, just like the sound echoing from far away. It can be from the center of your body, or can be someplace else. Continuously, over and over, just like you humming the music. Okay, you sing a song in your mind, but that song is just one or two words, just to keep the mind busy. Okay, and that is called uh, the mantra. And another thing is the object, okay? Visualization it can be any object, okay? Literally, it can be anything. But to keep in mind, you should find the object that calm your mind down, not the object that bring you uh, more question or more worry. If you visualize about your desk at your office, then you start thinking about working, right? It's not a good object. Or you're thinking of the car, the house, then or the new phone, then the mind start going after that object. Oh, I want a new phone, I want a new car, I want a new house, things like that. So you should, shouldn't be thinking of those kind of objects. So instead, thinking of something that calm your mind down. Okay? Uh, if you're Buddhist, you may think of the Buddha. If you are Christian, you can think of the cross, you can think of the sun, the full moon, the bright shiny star, uh, the even the flower, okay? your favorite flower, or even an apple. Okay, we can do the work. Or the crystal ball. Crystal ball represents the nature of the mind, which is clear and bright. That's why you know I suggest keep it simple. Clear and bright. Clear and bright. It reflects the nature of our own mind. When we think of something clear, the mind becomes clear. When we think of something bright, the mind becomes bright because whatever the mind can think and conceive, okay, it can be happening. So if you're thinking of calm, then the mind can be calm. Think of peace, then the mind can be peace. All right. So just you know, around this uh, area, is keep it simple. Can be any object, but make sure you select the object that doesn't cause you to think further, like the work, like vacation, like uh, uh, object, like money, things like that. All right. 
Uh, and how can you visualize it? So you uh, imagine if you close your eyes now, can you think of your mom and dad's face? Can you think of just your bedroom? You think of, you know, um, the food that you eat this morning? So keep it simple. That's how you visualize it. It, it will not 100% clear as you open up your eyes. Now you see me, this is 100% because you see from your physical eyes. But when you close your eye and try to think of my picture, Buddhist monk wearing this orange robes and he is talking with me, even though you see me, okay, open up your eye and see me. And when you close your eyes, my picture in your eyes, when you, when you have your eye closed, is not 100%. It's not the same level as you open up your eyes. And don't worry about it. The mind seeing and seeing from the physical eye is not the same. Similar idea is not the same. So the problem that people have is, commonly, they try to use the physical eye to locate the meditation object when they close their eyes. It doesn't work. You will have stress and headaches, especially around this area at the center of between your eyebrow. If you're noticing you start having stress, that means you are trying to use your physical eye to locate the object in your body or when you, when you meditate. This is not good. When that happens, you can just remind yourself, you know what, forget about these physical eyes or you can open up your eyes and start over again. Please do not let it become your habit of trying to see the object when you close your eyes. You can use one of these, just the mantra or just the visualization or you can combine two of them. Or you don't have to use anything that I just mentioned. This is just the tool that available. And as the meditator, you should know what else that available for me to help calm my mind down. Okay? Because meditation is about um, calming the mind down, achieving the stillness of the mind when we meditate. So the mind think a lot. So now we work on the mind to calm the mind down, to slow down the thinking process. That is why we should know what tool that are available. And today we're talking about using the mantra to keep the mind busy when the mind starts wandering, or using the meditation object of your choice, anything that you, when you think of, you feel good and you feel relaxed. So to keep the mind busy. Or sometimes, you know, some meditator use both. Use both means you not only visualize the object, you give the mind second job, which is the mantra. When the mind has two jobs, the mind is busy, so the mind cannot have time to wandering out of the body. So it stays still with these two techniques, combination of two techniques, which is, you know, you visualize the crystal ball and then you repeat the mantra, clear and bright, clear and bright, or peace and calm, peace and calm. So use two techniques together. And then uh, last two sessions, we talk about center of the body. Uh, if, you are, if you already understand it and comfortable with it, you can visualize the object at the center of the body, the area around your stomach, okay? And then place it there softly and visualize it and using the mantra, all right? And this is, this is, the, this is the general idea, okay? So the rule of thumb is make sure you feel relaxed body and mind, whatever technique you use. And most importantly, equally important is about being conscious. Too much relaxed, you may fall asleep. But too much conscious, again, you may have stress. If you're too much on focus of the object, then you may have stress or feel uncomfortable here and there in your body. That's the indicator telling you that you practice is incorrectly. So come back and start over again. Feel free to reset and start over again. Anytime you feel like I am doing it wrongly, I have stress, I don't feel good. Just hit the reset button and start over again. Just like you reboot your computer and then it clear up all the RAM, clear up um, everything that was locked up you know, while you're working. And then you can you know, start up fresh and start working on your computer again. Okay, so apply uh, this uh, technique. So when you are calm, relaxed, content, comfortable, and conscious, these two things, two elements are in balance, then the mind can be still. One of the reasons that the mind cannot be still is because you are out of balance. Whatever technique that you use, you are out of balance. So remind yourself when the mind starts wandering or you know when you start losing conscious, that means you're off balance. So you come back, 
come back to what come back to your meditation pole or meditation technique that you use with the walking meditation we haven't talked or uh, uh, in detail about some other technique yes okay again it's a long it's a journey so each week when you stop by you learn something new so you can come back to the breathing you can come back to the mantra you can come back to meditation object okay for now that's so far what we have learned so make sure you sit relax relax what relax the body the seat that you sit the cushion that you sit whether you sit on the floor or sitting on the chair do you feel comfortable of what you, uh, wherever you are at the moment? Okay, the clothes that you wear, the temperature. You sit outside the house or you sit inside the house. Everything is matter. Okay, uh, especially when we sit in the longer session, the place needs to be very conducive, that allowing you to sit in a longer session. So, relax, okay, and conscious, or comfortable and mindful. These two things is the indicator telling you along your journey with a 30 minute journey or one hour journey so stay in balance and then the mind can be still okay okay so a trained mind always bring happiness and that is why i feel happy for everyone that you can find time to give back to yourself by joining this meditation test session okay so we will meditate together to relax the body and to calm the mind down again today is the technique okay that available you don't have to use it if when you start visualizing you feel uncomfortable you feel stress in the body don't do it don't use it okay if you start using the mantra you feel like you force yourself to 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 use the mantra like clear and bright clear and bright and then you feel you know not relaxed you feel uncomfortable then you don't have to use it just sit back let go of everything come back to your feeling what make you happy what make you relax and just you know following that whatever technique that you already know how to relax the mind and calm the mind down okay comfortably okay so keep it simple all right uh, if everyone's ready let's take a few good deep breaths take a few good deep breaths before we close our eyes yeah just you know, get yourself settled the way you sit on the floor or sitting on the chair, sitting on the couch, inside the house or outside the house. Doesn't matter. So the next 30 minutes, this is for you. You deserve it to be at peace. But before you can be at peace, again, okay, we start from basic. No rush. Make sure you are comfortable up wherever you are. So take time at the beginning to get yourself settled. Take a good deep breath. Okay, breathe in deeply. Do nothing but just breathing as deep as you can. And breathe out slowly. One more time, breathe in deeply. So this time, hold it a little bit before you breathe out. Just pause, just a little bit, a few seconds. And notice the center of the body, the area between the breathe in and breathe out meets in the body. Breathe in, pause a little bit, and breathe out. One more time, breathe in deeply and breathe out slowly. You can breathe out through your mouth or breathe out through your nose as you feel comfortable. Now softly and gently close your eyes. The same way you close your eyes when you go to sleep. Make sure there's no stress or tension around your eyes. Adjust your sitting posture where you can feel balanced, stable, but relaxed. 
whether you are sitting on the floor, on the chair, on the sofa, wherever you are. Slowly bring your awareness again back to your breath. Bring yourself to this very present moment here and now. Following your breath in and following your breath out naturally without trying to change or force the way you breathe. Just simply allow yourself to breathe normally and just observe how the body breathes and how you feel. Observe the physical sensation as the whole body from the top of your head all the way down to your feet. This is how we prepare our mind for meditation. Just to slowly bring the mind back to the body back to the breath, back to the physical sensation, back to the moment here and now. Just notice how the body breathes, notice how your chest is rising as you inhale and falling back down as you exhale. Notice how your belly is expanding as you inhale and contracting as you exhale. So breathe into your chest, breathe into your belly, nice and calm. Welcoming the feeling of peace and relaxation into your physical body. And notice how the body feels. If you need to adjust your sitting posture, again, feel free. No rush. We will take our time to make sure that this physical body is 100% relaxed. We are going to meditate together to relax the body and to calm the mind down. Whatever technique that you feel comfortable. Now slowly shift your awareness to the top of your head. The crown of your head and the fall and your forehead. Release the muscle around that area, around your face, both of your cheek, your chins, your lips, your jaws, relax. Shaking on the area around your eyes, eyebrows, eye socket. This is a very sensitive area. If you close your eyes too tight, then the rest of the body cannot be relaxed. So you must make sure that you close your eye very softly and gently and release all the muscle around your eyes. Just take a moment here.
Feel the relaxations go all the way downward to your throat, both of your shoulders, your shoulder blades, upper arms, elbows, down to your palms, relaxed. Loosen the muscle around your chest, your abdomen, spine, and your back. Deepening the relaxation into every single muscle in your body as you inhale and feel peace and relaxation every time that you exhale. Shift your attention downward to the area around your bottom, your sit bones, your thighs. Make sure they are relaxed. Both of your knees, your kneecaps, forelegs, both of your angles, down to your feet, and to the tip of your toes, relaxed. Again, there is no rush to stop your mind from wandering or rushing yourself to get back to your meditation objects. A good meditator always starts from basics by cultivating this habit, making sure that the whole physical body is fully relaxed. Because when the body is 100% relaxed and calm, it's not difficult to relax the mind. So if you notice any stress, stiffness, or tensions, are still remain in any part of the body. Make sure you take your time to release them all completely. You may put a little smile on your face to relax the muscle on your face. And cherish your mind with happiness and joy. Meditation time is the time of peace and joy. Time of letting go. Time of relaxation. Of the body and of the mind. Slowly let go all of your worry and anxieties. Anything that happened in the past right before you come to this session, whatsoever, and anything at all that you plan to do afterward. Just simply learn how to put them aside while you are meditating. Cultivate the sense of letting go, let it be. Let go everything that related to your work, your study, your business, your health, relationship, family, friends. Learn how to put those things aside while we meditate. Allow the mind to be free from all worry, attachments, and responsibilities, at least in this session, for 20 to 30 minutes. Because the sooner the mind can let go, the faster that the mind can come back and stay still.
So empty your mind from all thoughts, worry and responsibilities. Allow yourself to be at this very present moment 100%. You have been giving your time for the world, for others. The moment you wake up, up until this moment, this is the time that you deserve to give back to yourself. The time that you deserve to bring the mind back to the body to rest fully. Now slowly allow the mind to rest itself into the body to settle down itself into the body can be the center of the body or any place in the body that you feel easy and comfortable wherever you feel comfortable and however you feel easy and comfortable to rest your mind back into the body. Softly and gently rest your mind to that location. Allow the mind to be still, to be relaxed, to be at ease. Cultivate the feeling of being relaxed, being content. And being mindful. Remind yourself that you are going to rest body and mind. We are not trying to achieve anything or expect anything in this session. Just simply resting body and mind. You may recall the feeling as if you were going to sleep. When your head touched the pillow, your back touch the bed, you feel so comfortable and relaxed, and you are ready to rest and go to sleep without thinking or planning of how to go to sleep. The mind knows how to rest itself, how to go back to its home. As soon as you feel relaxed and comfortable on the bed, then you are ready to go to sleep. Same thing in meditation. We must make sure that the body is relaxed and the mind is also relaxed. Then the mind can stay still and the mind can rest in the body comfortably. Just checking in 
how the mind feels. Are there any thoughts, worry, anxieties? If you notice that your mind start wandering or having some thought, just let them pass, stay relaxed, and slowly welcome the mind back to the body, to your meditation object, and start over again. Stay in balance between feeling of relaxation and being conscious. No need to feel agitated, get annoyed. Learn how to be friends with your thought. Every time the mind starts wandering, acknowledge it and slowly bring it back. Five times, ten times, hundred times, doesn't matter. Eventually the mind will be more obedient, will be more calm and like to stay still by itself. And if you already feel peace and calm, then you don't have to do anything. Just stay with that feeling of being relaxed, being peaceful. And allow the stream of relaxation, the wave of relaxation to take you deeper and deeper into your mind. You can apply the technique that we learned today when the mind starts wandering by using the mantra clear and bright, clear and bright, or peace and calm, peace and calm, peace and calm, to keep the mind still and stay relaxed. Or you can visualize the object of your choice, such as the full moon, the bright shiny stars, or the crystal ball while you're reciting the mantra. Only if you feel comfortable and easy for you. Otherwise, you can just simply sit back and relax and visualize nothing. Just stay in the dark and allow the mind to unfold itself naturally. And observe whatever you are experiencing at the moment. If there is a darkness to be observed, then you observe the darkness. If there is a brightness to be observed, again, then you observe the brightness. With peace, relaxed, and calm feelings. No need to analyze, no need to criticize your own experience. So let's meditate in silence until we have come to the appropriate times. Make sure you stay in balance between being relaxed and being conscious.
Just checking in how you feel at the moment. How the body feels and how the mind feels. Notice how relaxed of your physical body at the moment. How calm and peace of your mind at the moment. This is the good the indicator telling you that you are working on the right track of meditation practice by some inner peace and calm in your mind, in your meditation. Maintain the feeling of being relaxed and being mindful. Just keep yourself a moment to stay relaxed, to stay at peace. Allow the positive energy that coming from your meditation practice to expand, covering your whole physical body covering every single cell in your body which allowing you to feel fresh feel relaxed and feel calm you feel energetic feel recharged and rejuvenated And that's the benefit of practicing meditation. It helps us to stay awake from inside out, to realize the true nature of things, nature of our mind, nature of our body. and to accept things the way they are. So cultivate the feeling of self-love, to love yourself. To forgive yourself. And to love yourself more to better yourself and to stay positive because when you can love yourself then you can love others so wishing yourself to be well and to be happy and to be free from all sufferings and danger to have good health and long life and to be success in everything that you are pursuing share your loving kindness to everyone in your families parents husband and wife children friends and relatives, wishing all of them to be well and happy and to be free from all suffering and dangers. Share your loving kindness to all directions, to everyone in the world, all beings, wherever they are, whoever they are, wishing them well and happy and free from sufferings and dangers. For those who are suffering, wishing them to be able to find a way 
to get rid of their sufferings, whatever it is. Can be sickness, hunger, violence, stress. Wishing them to be able to recover, to be strong, and to be happy. But for those who are already happy and success, wishing them to be more success and happier. Expand your loving kindness to all directions, covering the whole world, covering the whole universe, unlimited universe. Wishing all beings to be at peace, to be happy, and to be free from all sufferings. And now slowly bring your awareness back to your room, back to yourself, and cherish your mind with happiness and joy. Feel gratitude and appreciation for the time that you give back to yourself in this meditation practice. Just take a moment. Take a few good deep breaths before you open up your eyes. And whenever you feel comfortable, you may slowly, softly open up your eyes. So welcome everyone back to the session. How was your experience today? Hope everyone finds some inner peace inside your mind. Uh, relax the body and relax the mind. And at the end of the day like this, I believe everyone deserves to be at peace, to be happy. Uh, before you go to bed, right? Meditation is the tool that available for free okay, to help us to calm the mind down, to relax body and mind, and to find the inner peace inside ourselves at no cost. And that is why I feel like uh, it is essential for everyone to practice meditation on a daily basis. And it's also essential to have more community, community like this, where people can stop by, and practice meditation on that pace, uh, the more the merrier. Imagine if the whole world, everyone meditate together, okay, even five minutes. It will change the whole environment of this, you know, uh, physical earth, okay. The nature, the temperature, the climate change, okay? everything will change according to human mind. Uh, the mind is the forerunner of all things. If human mind is good, then the world is good. If the human mind in good condition, clear and bright, the nature or the physical world can also adjust itself okay, to be at peace, to have less violence, okay, to be uh, in a good environment for human being to live. And whatever happening out there in the whole world, okay, violence of all forms, war and you know, uh, all kind of uh, unhappy things that happening at the moment is the manifestation of the quality of human mind. So that is why I feel like it is um, uh, my job to raise the awareness of how important of meditation practice. So whoever you are, whatever you believe, okay, it doesn't really matter because meditation is a pure mental development, nothing to do with belief or religion at all. So please feel free to stop by and meditate together here in this community okay, uh, every Saturday and every Sunday, uh, 7 to 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. All right. So uh, I don't know if any um, question or experience that you like to share today okay. for Matthew. Okay. My mind was busy, but it's feel a little more centered. That's good, Matthew. So whatever um, technique that you use, okay, it and it you just ask yourself two questions at the end of this session. First, what technique that I use? Second, okay, uh, actually three questions. The technique that you use. And what happened when you use that technique? And the last question, how did you feel? 
okay the technique the result and the feeling so these three questions you keep in mind and if the result is you feeling good feeling peace feeling calm most likely you are practice correctly whatever technique you use so your job is to recognize it how did you get there and repeat the same method or the same process no need to change it just repeat meditation good meditator they always repeat the same thing over and over what works continue doing it what doesn't work stop doing it so if you for example uh, sometimes i start from sharing loving kindness first at the beginning of the session instead of doing it at the end so it helped me to free my mind from worry from from anger from agitated so I share loving kindness first. Think of good thing that I have done for others, or think of good thing that others have done for me to keep my mind calm and relaxed. And you know, within a few minutes, my mind already at peace, calm, okay, without knowing. So next time, all I have to do is just mimic the same thing. Just start off with relaxation, share loving kindness, and to see if it works or not. In most cases, it is always work. Okay, if you can find the, the, the same condition of how did you get there. Okay, so Matthew, happy for you. Um, again, whatever experience okay, that, that happening in, in your meditation, it's, it's always come and go. People usually crave for a good experience. Just like last session, last week, last month. So when the mind crave for the same experience, usually you get opposite. Okay, it doesn't work. So we need to kind of work on it. Just how can we be calm and relaxed without expecting anything? Even though deep down we expect a good result, right? It, it's it's good reason initially to bring yourself back to the cushion, to find peace and calm when you meditate. But when we actually sit, we need to learn how to let go all expectation. And you know, and when the mind let go, the mind come back and stay still. And then we start feeling peace and calm automatically without doing anything. Okay. So sometimes we call meditation is the art of doing nothing. It's the art. It, it's, the, it's the science as well. At the same time, it's the art of doing nothing. Doing nothing means doing nothing. Just literally doing nothing. Just simply allow the mind to rest by itself. Okay. When you go to bed, do you have to do anything? Uh, usually not, right? We just lie down and have the bed, uh, head touch the pillow, and then we just fall asleep. We don't have to plan. We don't have to think of what position should we go to bed. How can you close your eyes? You know? We don't have to think of anything. We just simply sit, lie down, and rest. Same thing in meditation. Okay, so uh, make sure you understand this concept. It's the art of doing nothing. <laughs> okay. Um, from Charlie, I normally drink green tea before my meditation session. I did not do that today and found it very difficult to stay alert during my meditation. Okay. I try to use my uh, mala bed and mantra. Okay. But still found myself either drifting or noticing my body getting more and more tense. Okay. That's good. The reason you are noticing this is because you are mindful. This is good. Mindfulness is always good to understand the nature of yourself, of what happening at the moment. Just observe, not trying to change, not trying to adjust anything. You observe how you feel and look at feeling as a feeling. And you also notice that usually you drink green tea, but today you did not drink. And this is happening when you did not drink green tea before you meditate. And it's good that you found out okay, what happening if you do this and what happening if you don't do this. So why don't you put everything that you experience into your journal, meditation journal, to keep track of what's happening. Good meditator has to be a good observer of your own experience. Every experience is good, nothing bad. We learn from it and we adjust from it. So this session, this is what happened. So can you, can you try next session to mimic what you did before this session, maybe last session or last week? of meditation technique that you use. Uh, take a walk, have a cup of green tea, uh, sit back and relax a few minutes before you actually sit and meditate and then compare to see you know, what works and what doesn't work. There must be a formula for your own self, for each individual, for all of us. This is the path of your own mind. Okay? We call it the path of the mind. The mind knows how to get back to 
there's still more. The mind knows how to get back okay, to the center of the body by itself. So our job is to observe and and just prepare that you know environment for the mind to come back by itself. With uh, drinking a green tea, uh, some people listening to the soft music before they meditate. Some people take a walk. Some people just you know read a few pages of the Dhamma books you know on the Bible or whatever it is that you know prepare yourself for having good meditation. And all you have to do is observe, uh, experiment it, observe it, and check the check the technique, check the result, and check the feeling. And if the answer is yes, I'm feeling good, then you on you on the right track. All you have to do is just to repeat it. Okay. So again, to see if this works for the next session. Okay, for Charlie. And if you know you go back to the same environments, having green tea, relax and meditate, and to see if the tense or the tightness of the body go away or not. Okay. So today and yesterday is not the same. Like I said, each day is not the same. We just have to observe. Does having green tea always work? Or sometimes work, sometimes doesn't work. Okay, there must be a reason. So you, uh, again, you learn from today's experience and uh, mimic it, experiment it, and to see next session, to see if it has it's come with, uh, it, it's, it's give you the same result or not. Okay, so if still having tightness or headaches or drifting, you know, minds get distracted. So that means something is not right. Okay, you are off balance. And again, all you have to do is just come back to the balance, check if the body is relaxed, why the body cannot relax, okay, and why the mind cannot relax, and then come back, hit reset button, and start over again. Okay, so keep it uh, simple and take it easy. So one session at a time. All right, and during the day, uh, I always said, you know, mindfulness practice is helpful. So instead of everyone wait until the end of the 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 day to sit thirty minutes, during the day your mind is everywhere out there. So you can train your mind to come back more often during the day. Uh, if you have five minutes in the elevator or on the bus or while waiting for get a cup of coffee at the Starbucks, you can just bring your mind back to the breath. You know, instead of shaking your phone and let the mind everywhere, just bring it to the breath. Okay, ask yourself where is my mind at the moment. If you ask this question all day long, it helps you to be mindful. Where is my mind at this moment? If you know where your breath is, then you know where your mind is. So if you already lost, you take a deep breath and ask yourself, where is my mind? So bring it back to the breath. Even one minute, I think it's worth it. If you do it every one hour, you bring it back one minute or as often as you can during the day. It helps you to be mindful. It helps you to stay focused. Okay. It helps the mind not get wandering or get distracted. And at the end of the day, when you go back to your question, you can be calm and relax much faster than just let the mind wandering all day long. Okay, just a simple technique. Just put it on practice. All right. So um, from Sashi, what actually is mindfulness? <laughs> okay, mindfulness is a big word. Okay, if you ask you know ten people, you get ten answer. Okay, people have different view of mindfulness. Uh, in psychological world. Mindfulness is about being at the present moment without analyzing, without criticizing, just being at the, at the present moment. And sometimes mindfulness can be uh, the idea of knowing when your mind attention moves. Okay? Now, you are listening to my talk, you are with me 100% or not. Sometimes you with me 80%, another 20% you think of, oh, I have to do this after this session. I have to check my email, I have to pick up my kids, I have to do this, I have to do that. That means you're not mindful with me 100%. Okay, so uh, to give you a quick answer, when you hear the word mindfulness, I like you to think of three things. Number one, it's about being. Number two, it's about knowing. And number three, it's about remembering. Three things. Being means what? You are being with whatever in front of you 100%. 100%. When you eat, you eat. When you study, you study. When you work, you work. No music, no email, no social media. You 100% of whatever in front of you. That's called being. And the second thing is called knowing. Not only you are being with something in front of you, with human, with situation, with whatever it is, you being with that and you also knowing of what's going on. Okay. Now you being with me, but do you know what I am saying? Do you understand what I am saying? Sometimes you being with a person, okay, 
you pretend to listening, but your mind is not with that person in front of you. You are, you may be in the meeting, you being in the meeting room physically, but mentally you at home, you at the shopping mall, you at some place else. So that means you're not mindful. Okay, so being and knowing of what whatever happening in front of you, and the last one is about remembering. Okay, remembering means you remember of something that you are supposed to be doing. Let's say when you meditate, you you use breathing as a technique. You should remember, I used breathing meditation technique. So when you lose. Okay, you're, when you lose conscious, that means you not remember of whatever you are doing. So you lost conscious, you lost your meditation object. So you have to remember, keep, keep reminding yourself, you know what, breathing meditation or mantra or object. So this is about remembering. Uh, people who are mindful usually have a good memory. Okay, when you, when you, let's say you wear your glass and then you wash your face, you take your glass, put right next to you on the right hand side and then you're washing your face. And when you're done, and you just leave, and you forgot where you put your glass. Okay, but if you are mindful, you will take time to register before you wash your face. You know what? I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna take off my eyeglass. I'm gonna put on my right side, and now I'm gonna wash my face. So one step at a time. So you start washing your face. You feel what's happening. You feel the soap. You feel the smell. And then when you're done, you dry your face with the towel. You put the towel back. And then you get back to your eye glass, put it back on, and go back to work. This is called mindfulness practice. Okay, it's about being at the present moment. It's about knowing what's going on, and it's about take time to register and remembering whatever you are doing. So these three things, just to keep it short. But mindfulness can be another big topic. Okay, so I hope that helps, Sashi. Put into practice. <laughs> All right, I think it's a good timing. Uh, hope everyone have a good session today. Feel free to join us tomorrow. It's another uh, wonderful session, about 45 to 50 minutes. Make sure you prepare. Uh, hope to see everyone tomorrow, 7 p.m. PM Eastern Standard Time. And if you have any question, again, feel free to, um, to ask me or share me with me your experience uh, at the end of the session of tomorrow. Okay, so have a good evening, everyone. So uh, Bindu, Donna, Elsbeth, Alan, Fumiko, Izzy, Matthew, Mina, Prad Pramidi, <laughs> Rochelle, Sashi, Steve, and Anu. So wherever you are, okay, um, whatever whatever happening in your in your day, okay, make sure you sit and meditate. Make sure you find the reason to get yourself back to the cuisine more often. Okay, it's a journey, and uh, please stick around uh, to see if this community can help you to master your meditation practice and help to develop the quality of your mind. And hopefully, it helps you to get to know who you really are, okay, when you are uh, continue practice meditation. Okay, please have a good night, have a good evening. Uh, please stay safe, and hope to see everyone tomorrow.